Uh, today I'm going to add Bluetooth capability to my Street Glide. Uh, it's a 2010, so any Street Glides or any touring bikes prior to 2013, um, I think you can add Bluetooth to it. So without further ado, we'll get started. So I went on YouTube and I found this Bluetooth kit. It seemed to have pretty good reviews. So we're gonna install it and uh, we'll just go step by step. And I'll have a link down in the description where you can uh, click on it and take a look at this uh, Bluetooth kit. We got the front fairing off and now we're gonna remove the stereo so that we can attach the wire on the inside of the stereo that goes to the Bluetooth uh, module. There's four screws. There's two screws on this side and two screws on that side. And the stereo just slides right out. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the two screws here on top. And then there's a couple of screws here in the back that will allow us to access the aux port where we're going to solder in our uh, Bluetooth connection. If you aren't familiar with soldering, you can always, um, you know, get a friend or someone else that you know that uh, does soldering. And it's just a couple of wires and uh, you'll be ready to go. If I got the stereo apart, you have to take this part plate off. There are six attachment points, two on the top, two on the bottom. All they are is little clips. You just uh, pry the little clip up and be really careful because it's just plastic. And then you can get this front plate off. And it just pops on to this <coughs> connector here when you go back on. Then you take the two screws out of the top one here and uh, one over here and then there are two in the back so once you have that off solder in your new wires and here's your aux port and I'll have a um, link in the description that tells you exactly which which wires go where and uh, we'll wire it up together and we'll see what happens. What comes in the kit is the Bluetooth module and the wires to hook up to the motorcycle. You also receive a um, wire to hook to the stereo and then this plugs right in to the Bluetooth module. Or if you have a different application, you can use this. What we're going to do is we're going to cut one end off and attach those two wires to the um, to the stereo and then this will stick out the back of the stereo and we'll be able to plug right in to the Bluetooth module. Utilizing two-sided tape, I stuck the module right to this bracket and that's the left-hand bracket that holds the inner fairing in place and then we're going to tie our hot wire right into our hot for the cigarette lighter and then we may run our ground directly to a uh, ground wire my previous setup so this end plugged into my phone on the ram mount or I plugged it in here for my GPS and then my GPS would uh, be the sound would come right through the speakers on my GPS so this is going to alleviate this it's going to alleviate this and uh, it'll be looking much better build a hole in the back of the radio through this plate this covered plate and we put the grommet in here we run our wire right through there we're going to put a tie wrap here and tie this over to that. And then in the front, you can see on this one, you'll have to uh, you'll have to ohm it out and make sure this is your right channel. And then over here, underneath 
here is your left channel. You see it very good. And then I put my ground right there. So those are the three wires you got. You got your ground, left channel, and your right channel. All soldered in. So now we have to remove this block or you have to cut the circuits going to these blocks. So I'm choosing to remove this one block. And that's your sense line so it can tell when something's plugged into your aux port. So by removing that, you're saying something's plugged into your aux port. And after we get done with that, we'll put the uh, stereo back together and we'll be uh, coming along. Okay, so the stereo is all back in. Everything is buttoned up. And the Bluetooth works fantastic. Uh, it does remember Bluetooth modules right here. Just use the two-sided tape. And then it's plugged in right here. And then right here is where we plug this in. We're gonna tie wrap this up so that it doesn't get away. But um, it works really well and it does remember your iPhone. So the next time you connect, it just pairs right up. So you don't have to pair every time you turn the bike on, it remembers that Bluetooth module. And it's the BU B2, BT2 that shows up in your Bluetooth um, list to pair to. That's the name of it. So the Bluetooth is installed and works great. Really happy with the results. No more wires. Clean that all up. No plugs coming out the front. No interference with the headlight. No interference with the motorcycle. Absolutely everything worked great. Hope you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment in the comments below uh, if you have something to contribute. And we hope to help you out with your mods, maintenance, and rides. So uh, we'll see you next time.